In times of great stress and uncertainty, it seems to be human nature that we look to the arts to seek wisdom or relief or simply solace. In the words of great men and women in music or in art that has survived for generations, we seek something that will remind us that disasters have happened before and that humanity, or some version of it, has gotten through it. On the McGill University campus, a statue of three men holding up a shell has become one of those symbols of persistence and survival. The university recently used a photograph of the sculpture to illustrate an upbeat online message from Principal Suzanne Fortier about how she turns to the arts in moments of stress. This is far from the first time that the Friendship Fountain, or the Three Bears, as it is commonly called, has been used to promote or symbolize the university. Installed on the campus in 1931, the sculpture is familiar to generations of McGill students and alumni as it has witnessed countless events from outdoor pubs to theater performances to quiet moments of reflection. Art historians explain that this type of sculpture is part of a long tradition dating back to ancient Greek and Roman origins in which a man or a group of men strain to support a weighty object, perhaps the earth, sometimes a rock, a chain, or even a cross. The three male figures, nude except for their fig leaves, are hardly what you would expect to see on a university campus. Created by Gertrude Vanderbilt Whitney, an artist better known now as the founder and benefactor of the Whitney Museum of American Art in New York, the sculpture was commissioned for the lobby of a new hotel in Washington, D.C., modeled in France and exhibited at the Paris Salon of 1913, where it won a gold medal. The hotel in question was never built, and the sculpture, which is actually a fountain, languished in the artist's New York studio until coming to McGill as a symbol of friendship between the U.S. and Canada. In an elaborate ceremony in May 1931, in the midst of another crisis when the Depression threatened the future of the university, dignitaries came together to celebrate its unveiling as a British flag and an American flag were lifted with a flourish to reveal the sculpture hidden beneath. There was nothing literal in the symbolism of this sculpture, no finger stretching across borders or a handshake. It was simply art. Unlike statues of the founders or benefactors of an institution or government leaders, classical sculptures of mythic figures are not seen as taking sides in political or religious issues. The three men in this sculpture together hold up a heavy burden that requires continuous cooperation and endurance rain or shine, summer or winter. Their message can be read as the importance of not giving up. Or it can be read as simply beauty remains always. Or one can simply remember having a beer by the sculpture or a conversation with a friend. We get to give it whatever meaning we choose. I'm Gwendolyn Owens, Director of McGill's Visual Arts Collection. I look forward to presenting to the audience at the Atwater Library the somewhat improbable story of how this sculpture happened to come to the university. Once we can meet again face to face. Stay safe, everyone. <laughs>